Hey guys, Jim Gem here. Welcome to the channel for another round of TGC. Something special today, we've got the Belfry, the, the Brabazon at the Belfry. Uh, designed by Han. I've played a few of his courses. Um, let me try and think where they are now. Hello there, and welcome, welcome to here. the golf club. Good to see ya. Let's play some golf. Rivington Hall and Dunholm Valley, or Dunholm Manor, I think it was. I know I've got them um, in my videos, so what I might do is link them in the description after this. Wow, this looks really nice, especially from his forum post. He's got the scorecard up there, and all the holes look very, very accurate. Lovely looking course. I'm sure another designer did the, the brothers on as well. Um, it might have been Elves 41, I think. This is a beauty. Mm, I should really turn John down, I think. Okay, so we have about 115 yards thereabouts to the pin. 115 with 8 mile an hour wind behind. Should be about right. I forgot to check the speed of the green again. Always doing that. And that was a splendid approach shot. Well, let's get out of here. Do. Starting your round off with the birdie. Bold maneuver. I'm going to have to turn John down. Sorry, John. Should do, I think. Okay, par four, 375 yards. Still seem to be pushing these a bit to the right. Yards, a little bit of wind from left to right. Very nice. That'll do. If anybody isn't familiar with this course, it's held the Ryder Cup four times. The most Ryder Cups any course has held so far. I actually looked this up, it was an 85 European win, 89 another European win, 93 was a USA win. And the only one I've seen that can remember is 2002, which was a European one. Looking good so far. Par 5, 521 yards. It's a stunning looking course. It's 
done really well on this. Okay, this one's looking to be around 240 yards out. 240. That's just going to go right over the back. Let's see where the five will go. That'll put me on the green, I think. What I might try and do is draw it in. Enough. Maybe not. Sweet. Not too bad, that. I think I'll go with a flop. Close enough. Okay, for the birdie. Let's see how that all adds up. Three under for the round. Uh, what I'll do here as well, um, instead of playing a full 18, I'll split split it into two nines. Just record it that way. Easier to watch then, I think. Instead of watching a 25, 35 minute video. Oh, I've just noticed there's no light rough. Nice bunker work. Very nice. What I'd like to see though, you see these trees here? Uh, the way they're just in the ground. I mean, I know it takes a lot of work, but I mean, who was it? It was D Dog that did it on his courses. He always puts little plantings around these trees. Just makes it look so much more realistic, I think. Let's just cut this around this tree a little bit. After right, that would have been right over the top of that branch. Okay, we're looking at around 170 yards here. 169 yards, 170 yard club. Let's just take a little tiny bit off the run. I think that wind's pushed it just a little bit too much. Oh, I should have took another little bit off. I'll take part. Three feet to the hole here. I like planting around up a little bit of water, that's nice. Really does look nice. Them trees look great as well. Looking good. Not bad, right in the middle of the fairway. 150 yards. Should be close enough. No. Oh, yes, nice bounce. I thought for sure you were heading for trouble with that last shot. Well, you proved me wrong. Sitting at four under for the round. 
There seems to be a lot of these RCR courses coming out um, recently. Um, it's for the better, to be honest. So they're great courses to play. It just shows you the talent of some of these designers we've got on the TGC. The amount of work they put into it as well. Nice. We're talking month, two month work to do these kind of courses. And you are about 150 yards from the pin, I'd say. Oh, that's pretty tight there. Should be alright. Let's just take a little tiny bit off. This might actually run short. Spot on. For the bird. Yes. Five under for the round. All right, let's let her rip. Another beautiful looking hole. I do like the holes more, especially the par threes. Nice little rock plant in there at the front. Really nice bunkers again. Ah, there is this tree. I really like the looks of that tree. Them trees. Really nice. Yeah, stunning course. Fantastic. Okay, 177 yards. Heading for the green here. Ooh, it's going to roll a bit. It's going to be like a good 15, 20 foot. Oh, when you're at. That's the only thing when you don't play as much as you used to, it's your putt that goes fast. I used to knock them in all the time. And that'll keep you at five under for the round. And we find ourselves on the eighth tee. This is right up there with Magnolia. Awesome. Whistling Straits as well. There's some great RCLs out there. Way to left, didn't realize this. Bit of a right to left lie there. Distance wasn't bad though. Nice. All right, 25 yeah, it's something they should put in a little lie indicator on the, for the fairways and stuff. Uh, I know it's been mentioned quite a few times. Auntie Kine mentioned it a few times that you wanted to put it in, but it's not been put in yet. Okay. Ah, it's nowhere near again. I'm just not reading the brakes properly at all these days. That's why I'm going to get my pro shots close. <laughs> okay, so that'll keep you at five under for the round. Okay, next off fairway. 
right? Nice looking hole, taking you up to the clubhouse. I don't know if I like courses without a little bit of um, light rough around the edge. Even though the blending is not that great on TGC, it is, I still think it looks a bit better with a bit of light rough instead of just rough all the way, normal rough, uh, heavy rough. Yeah, push that a little bit to the right, but it'll be safe. Is that something else that should be tightened up? How much I missed that line by? That should have been right at the edge of that fairway or off it, to be honest. Now this is going to be tough to get it close. There's a bit of a backstop there. 181, 187, 188. Just a four iron. A little bit of a right to left lie though, just noticed. I still didn't move that enough. Oh, yes it did. That was close. Ten footer here, this is makeable. I don't think I could have hit that any closer to be honest. Oh I don't like downhill parts. Okay, we'll leave this here. Uh, I'm going to split the videos into two. We'll do the front nine and the back nine. So I'll catch you on the next one.